All right, I got to focus. I'm shifting into suit mode. Hey everyone, Mark here and welcome to my kitchen. Anytime you see this, butternut squash, what comes to your mind? To me, a soup. So today, we're gonna keep it simple and we're gonna make butternut squash soup. But before we start, if you haven't hit that subscribe button, please do so. Now we can make some soup. Okay, let's start by cutting off the ends of the squash and then go on a peeling adventure until your arm hurts and the squash is fully peeled. You can use a paper towel for grip if needed and then place the squash upwards and cut down the middle. With a spoon, remove the flesh and seeds. You can use the flesh if you like for the soup. You can roast up the seeds if you like as well, maybe for garnish. And then cut up your butternut squash into small pieces. Keep them the same size so that they all cook evenly and then place in a large bowl. We're gonna use one big bowl today and throw everything in. Next, grab a large carrot, peel and cut up into small uniform chunks and then place in the bowl. Grab two celery stalks and go right ahead and cut them up into small uniform chunks as well and place in the bowl. Let's finally slice up two to three garlic cloves and place in the bowl. And then finally slice up one medium shallot and place in the bowl. So we're adding an apple to this recipe. Try and grab something that is sweet and crisp. I usually go for a honey crisp, but you can use ambrosia, pink lady, sweet tango, enterprise, whichever you like. I'm using a cosmic crisp, which is a cross between honey crisp and enterprise. Cut it up into small uniform chunks and say it with me, place in the bowl. So I'm using sage in this recipe. It pairs beautifully with the squash and apple and will add a wonderful savory note to the soup. Pick as many sage leaves as you like. I'm gonna go with five or six and then we're gonna fry them up. In a large pot on medium to high heat, add half a cup of butter and half a cup of extra virgin olive oil. When it's bubbling away, toss in your sage leaves and fry them up. Uh, this could take about three or four minutes. The sage is going to flavor our oil and butter that is also browning, and it's going to give off the most wonderful aroma that you're going to want to just stay by the pot smelling away. When the leaves are crispy, remove and place on a plate lined with paper towel. We're going to use these for garnish. And by the way, crispy sage leaves are tasty. And now it's everybody in the pool. Once everything is in the pot, season with salt and freshly cracked pepper and add some chili flakes for some heat saute and try to brown up your vegetables for about 10 minutes once done you can add five cups of vegetable stock place a lid on and simmer for about 30 to 40 minutes or until you can easily pierce the squash with a knife and then pull out your trusty immersion blender and blend away you can also use a blender and blend in batches depending on the size of your blender once you're happy with the consistency of your soup add a nice pinch of cinnamon and stir that in continuing to cook for another five to ten minutes without a lid and then we can plate All right, and there we have it. A nice big bowl of butternut squash soup to warm you up on a cold day. Mm. I really like this recipe because you get the sweet and savory notes. And then you get that kick of heat that just <coughs> gets you right at the back. I love it, it's delicious. And the sage leaf isn't there just for show. You can eat it. Mm. So good. So I hope you give this a go. And as always, the full recipe is in the description below. Please like and comment. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And until next time, ciao.